This is assignment, lesson three, and the topic is simple factorization. You are asked to factorize the following completely. Question one is 4p plus 12q. Now, what is common to 4p and 12q? And that is 4, because 4 can go into 4p exactly, and 4 can go into 12q exactly. So you take out 4. 4 is common. 4 into 4p is p, plus 4 into 12q is 3q. So you have factorized that one completely. Factors are 4 and p plus 3. So that's the solution for number 1. Number 2. 2pa minus 6pb plus 8pc. Now look on all three terms and see what is common there. 2 is common, so you take out 2. And p is also common to all three terms, so you take out p. So what is common is 2p. Now 2p into 2pa is a. Minus 2 into 6 is 3. P cancel out, you're left with B. So 2P into 6PB is 3B. Plus 2 into 8 is 4. The P cancel out there and you're left with the C. So 2P into 8PC is 4C. So we have factorized this one completely. The two factors are 2P and the other factor is A minus 3B plus 4C. This is a solution. Number three, 5x squared plus 7x. Looking on these two terms, x is the only common factor there because x can go into 5x squared and x can go into 7x. So you take out x. x into 5x squared is 5x plus x into 7x is 7. So the factors are x and 5x plus 7. And this is the solution. Number 4. 64y Number four, plus 32y cubed plus 16y to the fifth. Looking on the three terms, first of all, look on the numbers. What are what are the numbers that are common there? We have 64, we have 32, and 16. So 16 is common. Then we look on the letters. We have y, y to the third, and y to the fifth. So y is common. So y can go into all the terms. Now 16y into 64y is four times. Plus 16y into 32y is 2y to the second. Plus 16y into 16y to the fifth is y to the fourth. So the factors are 16y and 4 plus 2y squared plus y squared. And that's the solution. That's why we factorize that one completely. Number 5. We have 7AXY, AXY, plus 14BXY, and plus 21CXY. Now look on all three terms and see what is common. 7 is in this one, 14, 21, so 7 is a common factor. We have A, A is not common. A is not in the other two terms. Then we have X is common. So we take out X also. And Y is in all three terms, so we also take out Y. So 7XY is a common factor. And 7XY into 7AXY is A. Plus 7XY into 14BXY, we have 2B. Because 7 to 14 is 2, 
x y cancel out so we are just left with the b plus 7 x y into 21 c x y is 3 c because 7 into 21 is 3 x y cancel out so we're left with the c there so the factors for this one is 7 x y times a plus 2 b plus 3 c so this is the solution we have factorized that one completely number six we have five a b c d plus 35 b c d e so we look and see what is common we have five and we have 35 so five is common five can go into both 35 and 35 now a is not common because there is no a over the other side b is common so you take out b also so it is 5b c is also common so you take out c and e d is also common because d is in both terms so you take out 5b c d so 5 into this will leave us with a here plus 5 b c d into 35 b c d e 5 into 35 is 7 and the b c d will go so you're left with the e so the factors for this one the solution for this one is 5 b c d times a plus 7 e and these are the that's how we factorize that expression number seven we have 2ax minus 2ay plus bx minus by. Once you have four terms, if you look on it carefully, there's nothing that is common to all four terms. So with this one, we have to do factorization by grouping. So we look on the first two terms and see what is common. You can notice that 2a is common to both the first two terms so you take out 2a and 2a into 2ax is x minus 2a into 2ay is y plus what is common to the next two terms we have bx minus by b is common so you take out b and b into bx is x and b into by is y now if you look carefully when you do factorization by grouping, you're going to make your two pairs of brackets. In the first brackets, you're going to put 2a. What is outside of the brackets? That's 2a plus b. That's one factor. And what is common in the other pair of brackets? And that is x minus y. So when you factorize 2ax minus 2ay plus bx minus by, the solution is 2a plus b times x minus y those are the factors and the final example is question 8 and question 8 is simple mp plus mq minus np minus nq take out what is common to the first two terms because we're doing factorization by grouping what is common to mp and mq is m so you take out m and m into mp is p and m into mq is q minus what is common to np and nq n is common so you take out n negative n into negative np is positive p and negative n into negative nq is positive q we reach this stage in the brackets you must have the same things so you're going to make your two pairs of brackets what is outside of the bracket in one pair of brackets that is m minus n and what is common in the other pair of brackets as p plus q so this is the solution for question 8 it's m minus n in brackets times 
P plus Q in brackets. That's the solution. Hope you got most of these questions correct.